Well, it's going to be very, very important for Kim Jong-un to look like an, an equal part in all this, and he will be. I think that's the very uh, factor that a lot of uh, officials from the United States and North Korea have been trying to uh, hammer out. Uh, speaking in Singapore, holding days and weeks of meetings, uh, because when it comes to this uh, global stage and perhaps, uh, you know, a global stage, a summit between uh, the heads of states. And uh, when we're especially talking about with high stakes uh, on the table that Marty was just talking about along with Nancy, I think it's important that uh, Kim Jong-un feels that he has the prestige walking into the negotiating room. And perhaps uh, the fact that uh, there are a lot of uh, a hostile uh, exchange of rhetoric that we saw in 2017 between the two leaders. Perhaps uh, that's the reason why that the, the whole world is perhaps watching the Singapore summit that, that will be happening on Sentosa Island, which uh, is happening at the Capella Hotel, which is, by the way, about six minutes drive from where I am standing. Now, let me just remind you, back in late 2011, there were so many questions about whether Kim Jong-un is up to the job. That's when he had just lost his father but uh, well now just a few years later look at him debuting really on the global stage sitting down with a sitting US president so little rocket man is not so little anymore and perhaps he feels more comfortable coming out uh, speaking or walking or shaking hands potentially in front of all these cameras because he had that practice run late April while holding that summit with a uh, South Korean president Moon Jae-in as well. So what kind of a charm offensive would he pull off? I think that's really the question as well. Well, just a little anecdote that I think I told you about uh, on the day of the inter-Korean summit. Kim Jong-un apologizing jokingly to his uh, South Korean counterpart about having to wake him up a lot of mornings because of all these missile testing. So perhaps uh, that kind of relaxed expression of charisma that I think we can expect as well. But is he erratic and irrational as the world uh, or much of the world sees him as? I don't think so. Uh, just to borrow some words from Chun Young-woo, a former nuclear negotiator for South Korea, also so the founder of the Korea Peninsula Future Forum, he says just because he's a 21st century tyrant does not necessarily mean that he is erratic. He is actually rather showing a lot of consistency in his uh, state policies as well. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.